Well, welcome back to B D D D E, where we like to waste money and have fun. Uh, so <clears throat> I was gonna do a live stream on what was it oh, on Christmas Day, but um, apparently you gotta do stuff for YouTube to before you can live stream for the very first time, and I didn't know that, so there was no live stream. Um, I might try and do it a different day. Maybe I'll do it uh, New Year's Day or something if I'm bored uh, and open a first edition crew. I'll make the decision then. But in the meantime, we'll get through the last of this for this case. And we have one more case uh, sitting around that needs to be opened. Um, so yes, Merry Christmas for yesterday. Um, happy Boxing Day for today. Um, and so I hope you guys got all the goodies and all the good fun things that you guys wanted from... Uh, and got some great pulls if you got some boxes and cases. And I hope you had fun with friends or family or by yourself with or with alcohol, whatever the case is, as long as you're having fun. Um, and it was a good time if it wasn't. Um, that sounds like it sucks and hopefully next year will be better for you. Uh, we have a Aether Slash for the foil. Uh, just some blessings and some chi. Oh, wait, packaging. Yep, uh, new chair. The other one had broken, and so I decided to, uh, mad, madcap muscle for the foil. I decided <clears throat> I needed a new one, and my brother that was living down in Melbourne hadn't got me a Christmas present, so I said, hey, this is pretty cheap. This is from Office Works. Can you get me this? Uh, and he just paid for it online, and I picked it up. Really nice. Thanks, Peter. Spectral Rider and a couple of random rares we don't care about. Makes my life a lot easier to get rid of that stuff. Uh, ooh. No, nothing too special, but a Deathly Duet does look pretty good in foil, I must say. Does look pretty good. I don't see them too much because they are just rares. This pack that's just sitting here. I had some very good luck recently. Um, I pulled uh, of the two last packs at my Armory and Miranda. And I pulled the very bottom packs. Because I felt like the bottom packs because of the crown we got. Um, Aether Quickening was... Uh, that they did, You know. If it was going to be a really powerful card. It would be the uh, one of the last two packs. So I opened it and I got that awesome Marvel Bow. And we have an Imperial Edict. Cold foil. Uh, it's got a. You can see a slight line across it, so I'm not very happy with this one. Um, mind you, I think I bought one recently, so that's kind of sad that I've paid for one and now I don't need it. Because that could have been ten, twenty dollars that I kept for myself. But that's all right. You never know when you're going to pull something like these things. Finish the rest of the pack, shall we? Uh, Rumble Grunting. A, uh, who cares? And a Dust f uh, from the Red Pass. The Red Desert. Uh, this pack, I'm just... like It's been a couple days. Forgotten all about it. Forgotten how to open a pack. If I don't open packs every three days or so, I, I just don't know how to do it anymore, apparently. Uh, Puncture... Blessings and a dual shot. No one cares. So, um, I am definitely looking forward to the next year. I might end up going more player than collector. I don't know. It depends on work, I guess. Um, Pouncing Chi. And we don't care about these other cards. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go really bad and it'll be a terrible, terrible time. Uh, Tempest Aurora. Blessing and a blessing. Oh, stop that sneeze, hopefully. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. You do. Press your nose. Sometimes it gets rid of it. Like it has for me this time. Nyx the Nimble. Uh, spider Bite Regular Foil. Urgent Delivery Foily. Um, 
and a Crypto Crossing for a regular. I don't really need that. Mm. Ponda, robbing the rich. We have the Blessing of the Spirits for our foil. Everything else is weak in that pack. Uh, Plunder the Poor. And the Red Power. Uh, reinforce uh, Steel. And some Shield Bashes over there. Uh, so, you guys, let me know what you guys for Christmas. Did you get anything fab related for Christmas? Anything else that you really wanted? I mean, I got this chair. Uh, I got some chocolates and stuff from my mother. Um, my wife, at my direction, got me a new wallet. The old one was pretty beaten up. And the other thing that I had, Mad Cap Charger. Uh, the other thing I got uh, from the wife was a, um, a whiskey, a Japanese whiskey that is meant to be sort of coffee in it. Uh, not coffee in it, but it's, I don't know, it's got coffee on it, so it uh, sounds interesting. So I'm going to have a go at that. Uh, and hopefully it's good. Uh, Fleece the Frail, always happy to have more. Uh, assassin foils. Uh, Chi unleashed and some blessings and shukos. Uh, it's a payday. Shield bash for the foily. Uh, blessing uh, and blessing. Yeah. So, might start drinking that whiskey soon. I realized that I collect whiskey more than I drink it some days. And other days, oh, and, oh, uh, sorry, uh, Season Savior. It's all right, Majestic. Uh, Flex Claws. And an Iron Song Pride in the one pack, not bad. Um, it's not here, I took it outside the other day. Uh, the Lager Villain that I've been having behind there. It's now up to 160 Aussie dollars. Ugh. I remember I could buy it from Coles occasionally on special for 100. That's 160 for the same damn bottle. It's good. It's it's worth it, but still. Ooh, I think I need that foil for my collection. Uh, steel braided buckler. I can put that aside. Awesome. And some blessings there. Spectral. Um, I always get this one. Procession. I keep not getting that word right. Because I'm just a bit fucking special. Oh. We have another... F uh, f we have actually another. I meant our first Foil Majestic. Hold on. There's a lot of stuff. We have our first... And it is an Eradicate and Foil. Not bad. Um, prognosticate. For the fo regular foily and some duets and some trackers. Let's get a uh, slip for that. I'm just going to put this aside for the moment because that's not a hit. That's just a collection uh, uh, piece. It is funny sometimes what rare um, foils you don't end up getting despite opening so much. And we have a buckle for our second foil majestic. Our claws. I don't need it for the collection, but I don't think I have three, uh, another three of them, so that's alright. We'll have that. Uh, shred a slay the, oh, the shred there. Slay the scholar. Spectral Prowler for the common. Uh, blessing focus and blessings for something else. Blessing for a blessing for a blessing for a blessing. Too many blessings. <clears throat> I don't care anymore. Uh, Runic Reaper. For the foil. Nothing in the back. Down to the last three packs by the looks of it. Last, uh, I'm hoping for last pack magic again, because another 
big end hit would just be awesome right about now. Uh, blessings of Savagery. In the foil. Reincarnate and Blessings of Steel are not concerned. That was the Triple Blessed pack again. Oh, let's have a look. Slay the Scholar. Ooh! Spray, um, a spell fray gloves in cold foil. So, not another big hit, but hey, it's an extra hit. So I'll take the extra little hit there. And a shield wall. And we have a loom uh, looming doom, what does seem to be a bit rarer than most of the cards. Uh, so that's not too bad. Not too bad of a little hit there in the end. Last pack. Not going to get another coal foil. It'd be lovely if we get a marvel though. That would just put this thing. But that's not how these numbers tend to work. Spider bite is just goes there. And the hemorrhage bore. We didn't expect anything in the last. We've got to cleave though to just fill out our majestics a little more fully. Alright. Let's have a quick go for all you ladies and gentlemen out there that tend to just skip to the end to see what I actually pull. Get a better idea what's in these boxes. We have a cleave. The Looming Doom. Spectral uh, Procession. The Iron Song Pride. The Season Saviour. The Payday. The Cryptic Crossing. We have the Dust from the Red Desert. The Cold Foil. Spell Fray Gloves. I don't think I need them. But still. Uh, we have the Foil Buckle. Looks pretty good in that foily. We have a Foil Eradicate for the Assassin, and we have an Imperial Edict in Cold Foil. Not what I'd call the best box, by any stretch of imaginations, uh, but it wasn't bad, actually. I mean, the product last two boxes were worse. It just means our first box had all this case's love in it. All that sparkly stuff everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's really getting a lot there. Anyway... <clears throat> Um, that's all we've got time for here, so please like and subscribe, and I uh, will catch you all next time here at B-D-D-D-E.